Yes, good morning YouTube. Just getting ready to make my first cup of espresso this morning. And this is my Breville Barista Express Model 870 XL. And I had recently changed coffee beans. And what I like to do when I switch to a new bean is I've, I like to add the new beans on top so that there's some of the beans that I have been grinding already in the hopper and that way it takes a few cycles to get the new beans mixed in with the old beans so your grind settings don't change quite so abruptly and what I noticed yesterday when I did my last cup I noticed the pressure gauge was reading a little low so what that tells me is I need to increase the fineness of the grind, which means I have to go to a lower number. And when you're going to a lower number or finer grind, you need to do that while the grinder is running. So what I was going to do is show you that here. So I basically just press the... see here yeah swing down here see what I got here so I've changed the uh, grind size from number eight to number seven I had been using eight with the coffee before and let's see so it's kind of a two-step process because as you if you change the the grind size you may end up changing the grind amount but yeah it looks like you can see I'm just a little bit high on the amount although I bet if I spread this out it might come out just about right get it leveled out it wasn't quite level so yeah that's actually pretty good now you can see there with the, the razor that they give you with the maker that that looks like a perfect amount, so I'm at about a 2 o'clock setting. And I've got my good and press down. I've already run a shot through here to warm it up. And let's see. Now what we can do is watch the watch the pressure gauge here. And I like to keep it right around there. That's where I like to keep it kind of 12 o'clock position so before it had been running maybe over here at at 10 o'clock is a little bit low so by making the grind a little bit finer you increase the pressure but then you may change the grind amount that's why you have to kind of check you, you do the the size and then if the amounts a little too high or too low you can adjust that for the next time and then the one thing to watch for is if you're going to a finer grind you only want to do that when the grinder is running because otherwise you're kind of uh, you know if there's any coffee in the grinding burrs between the upper and the lower burr you're pushing them tighter together without the burrs spinning so that puts a little extra stress and strain on the part yeah I just thought I'd pass on my little grinding tips so I like to mix the new you know if I'm changing coffee I like to mix the new coffee in with the old beans so that it takes a few cycles to make that transition you can dump out the hopper and switch to completely new beans, but then you're going to be almost in the dark on what settings to use, unless you, if you've used that coffee before and you've recorded the settings, you can, you know, go back to those. And then I like to just do one adjustment here, see what the pressure is, and then also note the amount. If I get a little too much coffee ground, I'll turn the amount down. If I have to add a little, I'll turn it up. So yeah, just pass that on. My little technique for 
doing grinder adjustments on the Breville Barista Express Espresso Maker and hope you are enjoying your cup of coffee. I think it's time for mine. So we'll catch you later. You can subscribe to my channel for updates. Uh, questions welcome in the comments section below. If you have any grinding tips, go ahead and put those down there. And as always, thanks for watching.